So with all the recent changes, there is one that stood out to me, especially for the Druid, and that is the Companion Skills, which I found to be not amazing in the previous betas, but I'm happy to say that I've had a really good experience with a full Companion build here, especially with how the buffs rolled out, and mixed with a couple of other really, really powerful mechanics. Let's dive into it. So as I mentioned, this is a companion focus build with a subset of overpower damage with Fortify. So it's a really, really tanky build actually, as well as giving you options for pretty solid DPS if you're able to keep your wolves alive, which you have a lot of CC, so you can do. These points are 21 total, so you do need both the Renown points if you wish to do this exact build. Starting off with the Earth Spike. Now, I would recommend going 1.2 point into Earth Spike. This gives you an additional chance to stun, which is super, super useful. And more importantly, we want the third point because when we hit someone that's immobilized, stunned, or knocked back, we're going to get 4% of our base life fortified, which is super, super important. We're going to get 10% reduced damage, but also this fortify is going to boost up our overpower damage for Pulverize here because this is the core skill that we're running. Pulverize here, we want to go ahead and pick up Enhanced Pulverize and then pick up Raging Pulverize because it's going to stun when we hit people with Overpower Pulverize. And we're going to get an Overpower Pulverize every 12 seconds if we're healthy. And this build with the reduction of damage, with the companions, and with a couple other skills, we're pretty much going to be permanently full life. So two points into Earth Spike. Come down here, pick up Pulverize. I recommend then putting two more points into Pulverize to pick up Raging Pulverize. And then picking up Fierce Earth Spike. After that... Um, you have one out of five points into Pulverize. I would come down here and then go Earthen Bulwark into Preserving Earthen Bulwark. This is super, super important. Um, why? Well, because we need a shield oftentimes to make sure we're keeping our maximum life at that 80% or higher for our Pulverize to continuously regenerate. But on top of that, we want the Unstoppable because Unstoppable is critical for to avoid death that's basically the only way you die is if you get cc and then preserving olden bulwark is going to help us get additional fortified life which will increase our overpower damage and of course increase our uh damage reduction if we don't have fortify already at this point we're going to be unlocking the companion soon um if you do not have enough points or if you've gone with a different strategy just put some points into pulverize until you unlock the companions and then here's where it gets interesting now I happen to run uh, each one of these different companions and I happen to have a point of my gear so that I don't have to run Poison Creeper a point in it. But if you don't have a gear uh, piece that unlocks Poison Creeper, what I recommend doing is running all three of the different companions, Ravens, Poison Creeper, and Wolves, uh, one point into each of these. And then I put an additional point into Wolves, although you can put an additional point into Ravens if you can keep people in the area. Now, Wolves, really really solid single target damage and they actually do some nice passive damage as well i do pick up the enhanced wolf pack because we do have that stun from pulverize we do have the stun potential chance from um the earth spike and the creeper here is going to immobilize enemies which means we're going to get 20 percent increased damage a really really nice combo is to run poison creeper smack that activate it to immobilize all those enemies and then after you mobilize them then use your wolf here so that you can get the 20 percent increased damage off the enhanced wolf pack ravens just solid damage you can see the damage numbers on these skills is actually very very high 572 one point into it uh, poison creeper is uh, 354 on an active with two points and of course we have the passives out of all these skills just constantly doing uh, additional damage now you don't want to put a ton of points into the skills themselves because it only increases the damage slightly and that's one of the reasons why i max out pulverize here because this is going to give us more value overall because of the aoe that we're pumping out we instead want to go with call of the wild because our companion skills all will get increased off this trait 30% bonus damage that is huge um, instead of getting 10% roughly bonus damage on each of the skill points I put in each of the companion skills we're going to upgrade them all with the call of the wild this is one of the reasons why we run all three companion skills because getting max value out of call of the wild is huge okay so very very high survivability cc breaks in this build lots of cc in general with this build very good aoe with the pulverize and the uh, creeper as well as the ravens and a very good single target damage from the wolves and if you cycle through the pulverize overpower damage it does massive massive damage 
Now let's talk gear. I do not have any legendaries on my build. There is no real codex of power that I really want. There are some general ones, and of course there's some ones that work with increasing your damage if you have some companions, which obviously is extremely, extremely good in this build. So if you happen to get those legendary items, definitely run them. But for this case, I don't have any because a lot of people are not going to. Couple notes about the build though, you really wanna run a one-handed weapon. And the reason for this is that you get additional attacks per second. The attack speed is increased. And this is very, very important because we want to land as many Earth Spikes as possible for many reasons. One, resource generation. Two, the potential chance to stun. And then three, the chance to fortify if we have them stunned so that we can easily get our fortified life all the time. That means also you're going to want to run a totem. And then on, in terms of stats, what you're going to want to look for is companion skills upgrade. If you can get that, that is absolutely insane. You can see here, I don't really have any sort of companion upgraded yet. Um, I've been grinding for like two hours after level 20 and I've gotten nothing. Um, so, you know, if, if you are in that situation, then it is what it is. Uh, that's just what happens. The helm here, though, I do have a poison creeper upgrade, which is really, really nice. But again, you're going to want the companion skill upgrades if you can get it. And then also overpower damage, which is huge, okay? Overpower damage is the reason why pulverize is so powerful. And because we're relying a lot of our companions to immobilize, uh, to increase our fortified life, uh, to tank sometimes with the wolves in this case, so that we can keep ourselves healthy and then we can activate that pulverize, it is absolutely massive. So unfortunately with the Druid, we do not have these Spirit Boons active, the specialization, which is really, really unfortunate, but I wanna showcase how this build works and some of the damage potential out of this. So first off, you'll notice this Vine Creeper kind of rotating around us. And that is what follows us and just periodically hits enemies. Very, very nice passive damage. And that's what you'll notice. This build doesn't really have insane burst damage um, in terms of one skill doing massive damage. It just has really good consistent damage between all the companions. And the first thing I wanna point out is the Pulverize here the overpower. At 12 stacks, you'll see this little number right here. You'll get an overpower version of Pulverize and it'll do massively increased damage. Now, if you're fortified, this will be a lot of damage. And of course, if you get some other modifiers like potentially crit, etc., you can do massive damage um, on that single skill. And that is kind of the only burst version of this build. So it's not super, super reliable, but you will get it every 12 seconds. So what you're going to want to do is essentially kind of play around that pulverize, but also play around your companions. You're going to kind of want to spam out your companion abilities to some degree, but you're going to want to use it roughly intelligently. So if we see these enemies here, one thing that we really want to do is start off, use our pulverize immediately so we can start charging that up. Because you can see every second we're going to get that pulverize back. And what it'll also do is it'll stun um, if they don't get one shot, right? And you can see the damage differential. That was 500 damage compared to like the 130 damage. The Pulverize really doesn't do a ton of damage unless it's overpowered, so keep that in mind. But a nice strategy is to make sure you're using your Earthen Bulwark. If you're fighting normal monsters, you're not gonna get CC. So you can start to see this fortified life right here build up. This is going to increase your overpower damage. And if you're running a dungeon or something like that, then you're going to get that fortify and have it permanently increased. Another way to build up that fortify early is to use that vine creeper for the immobilize and then start spamming out your basics um, to get that fortify life increasing and again keep spamming out your earthen bulwarks um, to get that fortify life if you can right pretty important also your wolves are your main single target damage you can see when i cast it they jump on a target and do actually really really solid damage but again as i mentioned it's a lot of passive damage with this build Boom, we got feared. We can use our Olden Bulwark to go ahead and break that CC, which is what you're going to want to do when you have elites around. But you'll notice here, if I go ahead and spam out all my abilities, we actually do really, really solid damage to elites. And that's really, really important to note. Now you'll notice here, when you reach a certain percentage of life, very, very close to your maximum life, your health bar will become like a very, very like cool looking, I guess you say like, I guess you say armor around the health uh, bar. I'm not quite sure what to call it, but that is what, Fortified means when you are fortified that means that your overpowered damage will do massively increased damage and you can see there 800 damage versus the 535 so you do want to get to fortified as soon as possible when you start out the dungeon and it usually takes like the first 20 or so seconds because you're going to spam out your companion abilities and then you're going to use um the basic to really scale up that overpower and you can see here when we get to the elite we actually do really really solid damage when we spam out our companion abilities um and unfortunately our wolf did die there um earlier on so i'm not getting quite as much damage because i'm trying to showcase the build um but that is where most of our damage is coming from from those wolves and the overpower damage from our pulverize and then of course just the passive hitting and passive use of all your different companion skills is where you're going to get a lot of additional damage a lot of the other druid builds are 
in my opinion, a lot of inferior builds because you can't get access to legendary items. This is one of the only ones that really all you want is additional companion damage. So you're going to get a lot of value there. Um, so very, very impressive build so far that I've really, really enjoyed using. And again, it was quite tanky um, if you're not just running around trying to showcase the build. So a couple of strategies to keep note. Again, get fortified as soon as possible. You want to stay in combat, otherwise your fortified life will drop. On top of that, spam out your companion skills. Make sure you're targeting your wolves on the elites here. And then use your earth spike to resource generate. But more importantly, use your skills in the correct order. Stop basicing or don't use your overpower um, if you could say you're not going to have a lot of targets in the area, right? You want to make sure you're getting the overpower strike on those big groups or the elites and then use your poison creeper before you start basicing so you can start building that fortify and use it on any immobilize. Same with the stun here that we have on the pulverize. Stun them first, then start basicing so that you can get some value out of that fortified life because that is a really, really kicker, uh, key kicker to increase your damage reduction and overall damage. Hopefully this was helpful. I uh, was pretty impressed with how buffed the companion skills felt because they actually do damage now versus what they were before. If this build was interesting to you or if you found it helpful or if you just have fun with this, let me know in the comment section down below. Like the video, sub to the channel. I'll see you all tomorrow.